In this video, I'm going to explain everything about liquidity for you. If you are familiar with the smart money concept or ICT concept, this is one of the most commonly used term in the smart money concept. And a lot of people don't even know what exactly is liquidity. So let's get into defining liquidity and talk about how to spot liquidity on your chart. Whether you're trading Forex, you're trading cryptocurrency, or whatever financial asset you're trading, you need to understand how liquidity works because liquidity is literally the main driver of the market. The market moves in direction of liquidity. And then when we define liquidity, I want you to see liquidity as money because that is exactly what liquidity is. Whenever you come to the market to trade, you're basically coming here to make money. Money moves the market. If we pump in money in one direction, that is the direction that the market will follow. If we are pumping money to one side, that is where the market will follow. So basically, the market follows where money is, and that is exactly what liquidity is. Where can we find liquidity on our chart? We can find liquidity in these locations where you see relative equal highs in form of buy side liquidity, where you see relative equal lows in form of sell side liquidity, or you can find them around old highs, old lows. I'm going to show you that shortly on our chart, but let's start by taking this example. Now, if we have a market like this, let me give you an example. If you have a market like this, okay, that is coming down like this. In a downtrend, the ideal thing to do is basically to keep selling. If you are selling from here, let me give you an example. If you are selling from this area, for instance, this is your market and you're selling from that place, your stop loss is definitely going to be somewhere here. Likewise, any other retail trader that is trading in this market, their stop losses is going to be somewhere around this area. And this is what we call a liquidity pool. It is simply where the stop losses of a lot of people are in form of money. If you are selling in any market, that is if you're going short, your stop loss is simply saying you want to buy. Assuming this is a price of something, let's say this is a price of iPhone at this level, it's $100. I'm just trying to give you an example. It's $100 at this level. When it drops to this level, it becomes $15. Okay? It becomes $15. So whoever is selling from this level, and then the price he is putting his stop loss at, if the market did not come to this level and the market decide to just move up to this place, he's simply saying, I want to buy at this area. So your stop loss is simply... A buy order if you are selling your stop loss is simply a buy order please get this right if you are selling your stop loss is simply a buy order so this liquidity pool where the stop losses of a lot of people are that is where liquidity is residing that is where money is residing and then i told you you can find liquidity around relative equal highs and equal lows that means if we have this market like this assuming we have something like this let's say this is an order block where we are intending to take our sell if you're trading the smart money concept you must be familiar with that now we have a market that just behaves in this manner we have market like this trying to accumulate enough order okay just an accumulation so when we have something like this it is relative equal highs so this entire area is filled up with liquidity what we call buy side liquidity this is where all the stop loss is just like this one every single person that is selling from this area because people are selling from here somebody have sold from here somebody sold from here somebody sold from here somebody sold from here their stop losses are just right above here right above here that is the ideal way if you are doing money management you must learn this thing because if you don't put stop loss, if you're trading, you are simply gambling. So whenever you see market push up to pick all this liquidity, this liquidity, that is the money residing above this equal highs, is what we call a liquidity grab. And then the manipulation comes in, market pushes to this other block before further coming down. So this is a buy side liquidity because it is at the buy area. So all the people that have sold from here, their stop losses are in form of buy. That is a buy order. So we call it a buy side liquidity. And then when we have the same way this time around, if we have an uptrend like this, when you see market behaving like that, whoever is trying to make money in this kind of market condition is trying to buy. So if you are buying from here, let's say this area, if you are buying from this area, 
where do you think your stop loss is going to be if you're buying from that place your stop loss is definitely going to be somewhere just below this place for a good money management so every single person not only you a lot of people are also taking that order not only you so all their stop losses are going to be here so their liquidity is here that is money so when we say liquidity reside below relative equal lows or old highs or old low this is what we are saying liquidity is residing here so whenever market manipulated and it pushes to this area it grabs the liquidity and it's simply trying to get enough of that money before going the smart money are doing that now you have to understand that the smart money always want to come into the market with really large amount of money assuming the smart money has one billion dollar to fill in his order one billion dollar to fill in in that market you know when you come to the market you will need to have enough people to sell for you the smart money wants to buy the product for one billion dollar and the only people that are here actually people that are selling maximally every single person compare they only have 300 dollar on so he will have 700 dollar left he is trying his best to get enough of that order before he takes it down so when he comes down to this level to manipulate all these stop losses is simply saying we want to sell because if you are buying your stop losses is going to be a sell order assuming you are buying from here buying from here buying from here buying from here if he pushes down to this place he's going to grab all the orders you have left at this area to fill in the rest of the order he has so this is the concept behind or the Judas swing, the fake breakout, liquidity grab, trying to fill in their order. So let me go to the chart and then I'm going to show you where you can literally see liquidity residing. Okay, so when we come here, this is the monthly time frame. I want to just make sure that I get everything right for you. Look at what we're seeing. And we see relative equal lows right here, this area. Now there is also something I want to show you whenever you are marking out liquidity you must pay attention to the body of the candle look at this if I pick this line and put from here your liquidity is going to start from where the bodies of the candles are can you see if you notice how the bodies of the candle are respecting this area you can see relative equal loss so all this place is filled with stop losses of people all this place is filled with stop losses for people that are buying from here this is where their money is so if you are buying your stop loss is simply a sell order okay it's simply a sell order so look at how the market came grab all the liquidity it even pushed to this area this is all where money is money 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 and money everywhere it grabbed all the money at this area smart money are trying to get enough order before they deliver to that side every time you see that can you see what we just talked about right here let me delete everything and show you that the sketch i gave you right there you see market coming down like this have this like this and then you have you know market just behaving like this creating this relative equal highs at this area let me show you that clearly relative equal highs at this area this is where the liquidity is residing and then market push above and grab here to this other block all the liquidity that is here above this area market actually grabbed it before pushing down so not only do you see that on that you can see liquidity residing above old highs from the monthly weeklies and then dailies and even the smaller time frame if you bring this to this place you're going to see this this place if you put your horizontal line around this area you're going to see how liquidity sweep happen price pushed and grabbed liquidity above this area you can see the people that are selling from here their stop losses starts from the very body of that candle and then actually we can see price have grabbed liquidity here before pushing if we go down to the weekly time frame you can also see that from the weekly time frame you can always see liquidity grab time and again on your chart if i delete everything from here let me just give you what i'm trying to show you look at what i'm saying every time you see price pushing up is because it is looking for liquidity this relative equal highs at this area relative equal highs if i can you see from the bodies of the candle all these relative equal highs look at how price pushed to grab liquidity above that 
this is where liquidity is residing above this place okay grab of liquidity before pushing down again so you're going to see this time and again happen so whenever you hear the word liquidity is basically this that we're talking about look at what i'm saying can you see this line relative equal highs if you put your level here why do you think this pushed above that level this push above that level is simply a liquidity grab stop losses from here at this area this is where all your stop losses are and then price actually came and grabbed it before pushing down they are simply trying to get enough order before they keep selling if they have one billion remember the example one billion dollar they are trying to fill it up before pushing down and then another liquidity grab relative equal lows at this area relative equal lows at this area let me show you that probably relative equal lows at this area where all the liquidity is residing i made a mistake where all the liquidity is residing right there so go ahead and check it out guys you're going to see liquidity time and again time and again you're going to see it properly so look at what i said the example of that price pushed from here to this level had a you know consolidation like this after putting enough liquidity above this area above that area it just grabbed all the liquidity reach out for this other block at this level and then head up again now not only that you can also find liquidity still on the daily time frame there are trend line liquidity now look at this we can also have liquidity residing in this trend line it's still a diagonal liquidity look at this from here to here now what is is that most of the people that are selling from here let me show you what that means from here people that have sold here sold here sold here sold here all this place is filled up with people's stop losses look at this notice how the wick of this candle actually pushed above this high can you see so those people that were selling from here if you entered market from here your stop losses were going to be somewhere here and then all these places is people's stop losses according to how you executed your order so you can actually see that price went above and grabbed all the liquidity here so when you hear about liquidity it's basically money in form of stop losses all these ones there is liquidity in this area liquidity in this area if you look around you're going to see when price came actually to grab all the liquidity below this place this is liquidity grab around this area let me show you that liquidity grab below this relative equal lows can you see grab of liquidity at this level this particular level grab of liquidity at that level another place let's see another grab of liquidity time and again you're going to see these guys look at grab of liquidity relative equal low liquidity was grabbed right here let me just expand it a bit so you can see what i'm saying liquidity grab here look at diagonal liquidity at this level diagonal liquidity residing around this area now what i'm saying is that all the people somebody that sold from here his stop loss is definitely going to be here somebody that sold from here stop loss is going to be here somebody that sold here stop loss is going to be here somebody that sold from here stop loss is going to be here and you're going to see how price is reaching out for that liquidity in the future can you see price actually came back to grab all the liquidity you're going to see all the liquidity if you shrink this a bit you're going to see the liquidity we grabbed all across this so guys this is predictable you're going to see it time and again so this will give you an idea of how to put your stop losses i'm going to make a video differently make sure you subscribe to the channel so that when i make that video on how you can wisely and appropriately put your stop losses without getting affected look at this you can see grab of liquidity at this level liquidity was grabbed so guys this is all about this video another diagonal liquidity from here to here price actually reached out for it and then it continued down make sure you ask me any question you did not understand in the comments i'll be there to answer you thank you guys for watching see you in another video